Crash and burn. Hey everyone, so tonight I wanted to discuss Bad Religion's absolutely epic, well, it's one of their three epic albums from their most classic period, and that is Against the Grain. Now this is my personal, well no wait actually, you know what, that's not entirely true, because I have a bunch of Bad Religion, Okay, what the fuck was that? I'm telling you, if some large animal comes out of that opening over there. Ah, I figured coming out during the day would make me feel more comfortable in this fucking, but. Well, I will see it jump through the window and try to eat me, that's for sure. But yeah, I mean, Against the Grain is sort of the first of, I guess, a couple Bad Religion records that I fell in love with back when I was a kid. And that's why off the top of my head, I would say that it was my favorite Bad Religion album. But I don't know. I mean, you've got No Control was amazing. Against the Grain kicked ass. Um, Suffer for the most part I liked, even though Graffin's voice, it sounded like he had the flu. Um, Stranger Than Fiction, Generator. I didn't love Recipe for Hate, but it still had American Jesus skyscraper on it, so it wasn't all bad. Um, How Could Hell Be Any Worse? I mean, this band has released a lot of classic records, but today I did want to focus solely on Against the Grain because it's from that era when they were releasing albums that didn't have a single bad song. And on here alone, I mean, Blenderhead's on here, 21st Century Digital Boy's on here, Unacceptable's on here, the title track, Against the Grain, um, Turn Off the Light, or is it Turn On the Light, sorry. Entropy's on here. I said Blenderhead already. Um, the positive aspect of negative thinking, which is one of the most fun time changes in a song ever recorded. And not to mention the fact that that is probably the wordiest song Bad Religion has ever written. I'm pretty sure that the positive aspect of negative thinking is 100% officially the most heavily worded track Bad Religion has ever written and recorded. You could take me to task on that one too. I don't think you're going to find anybody who's going to be willing to argue back that they have another song that's wordier than the positive aspect. I mean, I know uh, I Want to Conquer the World got fairly wordy as well and a handful of other songs, but I mean, Bad, Relig Bad Religion Story is famous for their incredibly precise and um, unique wordplay, choosing to work with words that aren't used in uh, everyday discussions that 99.9% .9 of their fan base will find themselves involved in. But yeah, the positive aspect of negative thinking, it's like, it's probably my favorite song on the record. And I did love going back to the Bad Religion lexicon back when that was still a thing. I don't know if it's still around anymore, but it was a website that was around a bunch of years ago um, that would uh, have definitions for all of the words used in all of Bad Religion songs. And it was like, it was a real lifesaver because you didn't have to grab a dictionary every two seconds when you were listening to whatever it was. And you were like, hmm, you know, what the hell does quandary mean? And, you know, you would just very quickly fire over to the website and you would look it up and you'd get find the answers there. I can't remember if the Bad Religion Lexicon was organized alphabetically according to the words or if they were arranged via the songs and the albums. It's been so long. I don't even know if it's around anymore. I imagine if it is, Hopefully I've remembered to toss some text in saying that it is or it isn't, but sometimes I just forget to do that with these things because I've done so many of them. But it was a real indispensable, like it was so indispensable, sorry, back when I was a kid because Bad Religion's lyrics are so incredibly, so impeccably well written and they use so many words that a 13 year old are not going to know and it was because of Bad Religion that I was able to increase my vocabulary tenfold. Even though I will say, you don't find a lot of opportunities in life to use words like fecundity or, 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 or swidge. You know, you, you, don't, you don't pretty much ever find an opportunity to use words like fecundity in a sentence. You always feel like George on Seinfeld. It's an anthema, you know? What? It's, they don't like doing it. It's like, oh, how long did you wait to squeeze that one into a sentence? It's true. You're never going to use fecundity, you know, or trammel. 
You know, you're, you're, you're not going to use these words in a, in a more casual sense. You're hanging out with your buddies and you're like, oh, well, even if you were to use fruitfulness in place of fecundity, you're still going to sound way off. Like you're like, well, I don't know if it's going to bear much fruit, lads. And then you'd find you'd have no friends left. But nonetheless, um, I've gotten way off base here. This, it's like fucking five minutes long and I was supposed to be discussing the record and I went off on this big tangent about the bad religion lexicon and their incredibly precise yet difficult wordplay. But yeah, this record is flawless. There isn't a bad song on here. Even the tracks that I didn't love, like Operation Rescue, I still really liked Operation Rescue. It's just, it, I didn't like it as much as I did say Unacceptable. And of course, 21st Century Digital Boy, which they would later re-record, if I'm not mistaken, for Stranger Than Fiction. Um, that is probably one of the best known songs from Bad Religion. I love that song. It's incredibly fun. It's catchy. And I've actually known people who had parents, like the parents that were being portrayed in that song. I knew, like literally, I knew um, uh, one guy I grew up with, his mom was always high on Valium, and his dad was a smart guy who couldn't hold a job. And so, I remember when I met him, I had already heard this song and I knew the words, and it was like, holy shit, his mom's hooked on Valium, and his dad's like a lazy middle class intellectual. And I was like, holy fuck, these guys in Bad Religion, they really know what they're talking about, and I keep hearing weird noises behind me. Despite the fact that it's daytime, it's kind of freaking me out. There's something in there too. I don't know what the hell it, ah. There's something in this place behind me. There's a fucking hole in the door and there's a bunch of scratches on this old like um, for sale sign from some real estate company. So you know animals have come and gone through this place a million times. But yeah, look, I'm gonna go. This completely train wrecked. I attempted to discuss Bad Religion's awesome, I believe 1990 album, Against the Grain, and I tried to do it and I tried to sound smart. And I was going to use words like fecundity and trammel and quandary and <laughs> it failed miserably. So I'm going to go. So if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to do something nice for somebody, but I am going to go. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.